Chess Panthers. Today is Wednesday, April 6, 2021. I'm Connor and welcome to WCES, Chess Elementary School's official news source. Applications for broadcast sponge are due today. Make it, make sure to bring them to Miss Hall in the Media Center by 2.30. All lunch menu options today includes corn dogs, cucumbers, veggie juice, and assorted fruit. Our flag holder today is Jason from Miss Brown's class. Please stand respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag and states of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cheers Panthers. I hope you had a fabulous long weekend and that your week is off to a terrific start. Now, I have several birthdays because I'm going to do the ones we missed on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today's. Okay? So, wish happy birthdays to the following friends. Walter Gagne, Carson Shea, Trinity Thompson, Amber Forrester, Mikey Phillip, Lucas Gary. Happy, happy birthday to all of you. Have a terrific Tuesday and I'll see you on campus. Hey there, Cheers Peeps. Your school word wizard is here. I heard that today is third grade's chance to hand over a defeat to the ELA reading FSA. To that, I cheer you and say you should give them an astounding wallop. Yes, a good old wallop will do it. A wallop is a verb, and it means to strike with a hard blow or defeat soundly. So take the week to bash, bang, bump, smack, and best the FSA with a gracious walloping. Until next time on Word Wizard Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in for WCES. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Proud Pinch of Pride. Remember, Panthers, dream big and aim high. Hey, guys. I bet you can't guess what today's story is about. You might say lemons. But it's not. It's about a lemon tree. I hope you guys like it. Remember to take the AR test. Bye. When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree Written by Jamie L.B. Dinahan Illustrated by Lorraine Rocha You were hoping for one of these. But surprise! It's a lemon tree. What should you do when grandma gives you a lemon tree for your birthday? First of all, act excited. Your face should look like this, not this, and definitely not this. Say something polite. Try, thank you, just what I needed. Keep smiling until grandma leaves or falls asleep and do not harm your lemon tree. Don't drop it off a bridge, tie it to your birthday balloons, play ding dong ditch the lemon tree. Now, listen closely. This is important. Place your lemon tree in a sunny spot. Be careful not to overwater. And prepare for battle against intruders. When winter arrives,
keep your lemon tree warm. Then wait. And wait. And wait some more. Once the snow melts, it's time to bring your lemon tree back outside. Well done! Sure, you can decorate your lemon tree or hide behind it. Come out, come out wherever you are. But you know what's even more fun? Picking lemons! Woohoo! Pick them, slice them, squeeze them. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a roo! Ta da! Now you have lemon juice. You didn't think I'd just leave you with lemon juice, did you? Of course not. Remember those gifts you were hoping for? It's good you're staying focused. Gather these items. Lemon juice, water, a pinch or handful of sugar, flashy lemonade stand, cue a dazzling smile and Ka-ching! Count your cash and head to the store. Now you can finally buy exactly what you want. Something you can really enjoy. And share with others too.